and welcome to a brand new episode here on Carmelin's Farm. <clears throat> so what are we up to today? Well today we've got to go and get our soya beans harvested. Um, and whilst we're harvesting our soya beans, we will also need to be getting on with the baling in the in the uh, bay in the bailey field. Our baling in the barley field. <laughs> we'll need to get that completed today and collected. So as always, what I'll do is I'll do three breeds around the outside of that soya bean field, and then from there, I'll let course play take over. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that course play is going to be able to drive this massive Ferguson back across the bridge uh, to uh, to the tip to the um, silo, uh, and then the soybeans can go into the silo for now, and then um, once that's uh, once we've got it harvested, we can then get it. Uh, we can then get it uh, sold if that's what we need to do. Uh, I don't think the mill takes um, soya beans to make into oil or anything like that. I don't think it does. Uh, like I say, this is the first time that I've really done productions sort of properly. Uh, obviously I did it in the first sort of few months of the game when the game first got released and you know as you do you sort of do everything that's new and, and everything else you know but beyond that I've never I've never done it uh, you know properly so uh, and I might not get over that bridge I don't know that might be wide that might be wide enough so let's not do that let's do that let's open the tank so we're ready yeah we can get over the bridge um, yeah, so uh, as I say, I haven't really done anything uh, properly with that, so it's just a case of um, sort of relearning what uh, what we're you know what we can and can't do, sort of thing. So, but uh, as I say, we'll get uh, three headlands off uh, this uh, field, or four headlands maybe. I think we do a four and a three, don't we? So we'll do four headlands off this uh, field. And then, um, and then uh, we will, uh, as I say, let course play take over. But yeah, we've got the bailing to do, uh, so we need to get that done this episode in that um, in the uh, barley field. And we also need to as well. Uh, we also need to as well, obviously, get those bales collected and get them into the um, the bale shed. And we need to get that field then uh, mulched and then ploughed so it's uh, as i say it's a busy 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 old episode again and uh, i've got to say really enjoying this series because uh, the one thing i'm really liking about it is is we are just flat out all the time uh you know it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't you know, you know we're, we're either harvesting or we're ploughing or we're drilling or you know we're doing something and and as i say even if all of that then ends up sort of being done and we're just waiting on things to grow we've got all of the productions to do then as well so you know as i say this 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 map has been really uh or this save i should say um it's really full on uh and uh yeah i've been really enjoying it uh now i know this week we've had quite a lot of chatty videos this isn't going to be a chatty video because otherwise I'm not going to get very much done. Uh, so this will be a normal time lapse uh, video, and uh, what we will do is, <clears throat> as I say, we will do the we'll do the time lapse so that we do actually get you know as much done as possible. Um, before I started recording, I went round and I um, checked all the animals and made sure they were all okay. So that's all been done. That's good. Um, you know, so that, that that that's looking good. And yeah, as I say, I went and checked as well the uh, productions, and there's quite a few productions now that need either emptying um, of their produce, or they need refilling, or you know, sort of whatever. So we need to go out, crack on with that. We need to get the olive grove uh, mulched and cut. We need to get on with that. Um, as I say, we, we've just got so much work. <laughs> Uh, to do that it's uh, it's uh, it's gonna be uh, as I say a very busy and exciting time may have to get a few more tractors 
uh, and uh, get some more helpers on the uh, on the case so that uh, you know so that we um, <clears throat> we're able to get everything done in a timely fashion uh, because uh, as I say I just want to keep every episode moving forward um, you know so and as for the drill situation there's a there's a mm, there's a few things I could oh that was the other thing as well off camera um, from the last episode to this episode I've got all of the new fields that um, I mowed well that I bought then mowed and then we stored nearly all of the silage apart from that field there we sold the silage from that field um, but yeah otherwise um, as I say we, we I've ploughed all of them over so they're now all ready to be drilled as well um, as I say, this will then be ready to be baled, mulched, ploughed over, and then drilled again. I mean, I suppose in theory we we could just direct drill. In theory, um, but I don't. You know, if I don't plough, it doesn't get rid of the tram lines from last year, and it then ends up becoming very confusing. Of uh, you know, sort of which tram lines I'm using. Uh, it's just just you're better off ploughing the field starting again you know i mean i'm not being funny but you know sort of back in the 80s and 90s you know ploughing was it was a case of you know you're ploughing you're scrubbing out the year that's been and you're starting afresh um you know and that's uh you know what you know what i do sort of in this save is you know we plough and we start afresh it looks as if the sunflowers are also ready now as well so we'll have them to do the rapes not quite ready i don't think the wheat the other side's quite ready either um but those sunflowers are now ready so you know not only have we've got the canola oil that we've been doing uh we've also got um the olive oil that will obviously come eventually once the uh, olives get grown the same and that's a priority we must get that um, mulched and cut so that um, they uh, get given the best uh, opportunity and then we need to get them sprayed as well so we've got quite a bit of equipment to buy as well uh, and then we'll have the um, sunflower oil as well as well as the olive oil so I say another field of wheat well that will go to feeding the chickens um, you know so that's important uh, so yeah it's just busy 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 um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. You know. So, right. We need to go and get the tractor and trailer. We need to get a combine emptied. So, as I say, hopefully, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that course play can get back over that bridge, back to the farm, and then uh, tip. In theory, there shouldn't be. As far as I know, there isn't anything in the way. But we will go back and check. But I will need if there is a tractor in the way. I am going to need that tractor anyway because I'm going to need to do the um, the baling in the barley field. So it's not going to be uh, you know it's not going to be really an issue as such. Uh, is the is that the let's have a look because that might be the uh, is that the new wheat field? That is the new wheat field. Oh, and the wheat field's ready as well then. Uh, so that's even better yeah so the wheat's ready as well so crikey we are busy <laughs> we, we are busy we've got uh, soybeans to harvest so we'll harvest the soybeans harvest the wheat and then we'll harvest the sunflowers because obviously we'll need to change the header for the, for the sunflowers so we'll do the wheat and the um, soybeans so in the next episode that rapeseed should be uh, ready as well so as I say we'll We'll just keep continually going through and getting the land cleared and ready for drilling. And then I guess it will all be ready for drilling in one go. So not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, as I say, I am going to switch it over to some time lapse because uh, as I, say, I want to get plenty done in this episode. Um, and just because, as I say, we've, we've, you know, we've had three episodes in a row where we've done chatty chatty and i don't want people to sort of get fed up with it you know and as well i don't think the chatty sort of videos suit this series i think this series is suited to me doing an intro um then doing the 
the time lapse and then doing an outro uh, at the end of the day we've got the eggs to um to um get out as well uh they're going to the bakery uh this time because obviously i want to get the green asses as well up and running so that we can start making cakes um strawberry cakes so yeah we're it's just like it's going to be constantly non-stop now uh but we have i think reached that point now where we are going to be self-sufficient um the only thing that we are going to be waiting on all of the time now is good prices to sell um but uh yeah as i say uh i think uh, i think we've reached that uh, self-sufficient uh, period in our farm which is fantastic because it means that we're not going to have to put up with endless baling of grass and silage and selling and you know we're going to be able to support ourselves and say we're currently making fertilizer we are currently uh, making now our own seed so we're not going to need to buy any of that uh, the only thing i am still buying in at the moment is pig food um, and that's just a case of of, of going to uh, up into town and up into town and uh, and buying it from a silo um, and it's I mean it is costing a little bit but it's not costing enough for me to then think to myself okay you know we need to be using our crops to make pig food um, you know as I say at the moment it, it for how much it is costing I think it's costing around about I can't remember now I think it was about eight thousand pound per trailer uh, eight to ten thousand pound per trailer which is not a huge amount uh, because the pig foods lasting probably I would say about three episodes I would say three three episodes uh, yeah, I would say probably three episodes or two, sort of, it will last this episode, the next episode that I record, and the next one, and sometimes it does as well go into the next one, so, um, you know, as I say, for, for what benefit we're going to get from it, um, it's not really costing much, the pigs will more than pay that back, so, uh, and, and especially because as well, obviously, they give us straw and things, uh, give us manure and things so yeah that they'll they'll be more than uh, paying that back so that that's uh, that's not a problem but uh, I think eventually we will get uh, so that we are making our own pig food but for now uh, it's it's an acceptable way for, I feel for me to be be doing it so uh, but yeah anyway I'm gonna switch myself over to some time-lapse you're gonna get some lovely relaxing music I'm gonna get busy and then uh, we'll meet again at the end and uh, we'll discuss what we've all just seen and what I've just done and uh, and we'll we'll call that uh, another episode so as I say I'm going to uh, switch it over so thanks ever so much for watching thanks ever so much for listening that's the most important thing um, really appreciate it and uh, as I say we're going to turn ourselves over now to some relaxing music here on Jimmy FM <laughs> I'm just being a wally I'll see you in a bit
And I'm back. So, you're wondering what happened <laughs> between me coming out of that field and it now being as dark as what it is. I'll tell you what happened. I filmed the outro, got right to the end, thanked you all for watching, and then realised I hadn't turned the microphone on. So I've just sat there for like 18 minutes. <laughs> Talking to myself. <laughs> um, so uh, I've kind of now, because I was sort of talking through the jobs I was doing, basically what I did was I took about 48,000 litres of sugar from there and dropped them into here to make chocolate because I forgot that when I filled it up with milk that I needed to... Uh, I needed to make I needed sugar to make the chocolate so um, <clears throat> yeah I forgot to do that but one thing I did talk about which I'm going to talk about and, and this outro now isn't going to be as long as the last one because the last one I was actually doing jobs and, and I was sort of while I was doing jobs I was talking but and I've kind of run out of jobs now because as I say it's got dark although the moon looks pretty spectacular um, but what I was saying was so Whilst doing all of the work today, and we have done a lot today, so we've baled and collected that field and then mulched it. We've ploughed that field out there and we've combined pretty much all of the soybeans. Um, you know, as well as a few of the jobs, you know, we loaded the milk into there and, you know, we've sort of, as I say, done a few other things as well. But uh, we've, we, you know, we've done really well this episode. But while I've been doing all of these jobs and that, and you know recording and sort of working away in the fields i've been kind of thinking i think i said either at, at the beginning of this episode i can't remember when it was it was either the beginning of this one or the end or some point in the last episode that no one really now on youtube is doing this challenge now <clears throat> i'm really enjoying this uh, series and i'm really enjoying recording the episodes and we've just started to set up all the factories and so I do want to carry on I do want to continue so I'm not going to stop uh, this episode these episodes or this series because as I say I, I'm really enjoying it and and I'm really surprised that I'm really enjoying it because this isn't the sort of game style that I would normally play uh, you know, I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I like to play farming sim in the way, you know, farming sim sort of, uh, you know, the traditional way, you know, grow crops through the year, harvest, you know, and, and, and that. So when this challenge was brought to me by one of my viewers and sort of said, you know, I'd quite like to see you do it and see, you know, kind of how you differ from everybody else. Um, you know, I sort of, I was up for the challenge, you know, I was, I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough. You know, I've always said, if you guys get in touch with me and say, I wouldn't mind seeing this, you know, and I can sort of buy into the idea, you know, I'll give it a go. I'll always give it a go, you know. And, um, so yeah, you know, I, I, I decided to give it a go and I've, as I say, I'm really enjoying it and I've got, you know, every time I play this save, I've got a million ideas, you know, running through in my head thinking, oh, I'll do that next. Oh, I'll do that next. Oh, that needs doing. We need to do that. You know, we need to sort that. And one of the kind of things that I originally set out and said I wasn't going to do was I wasn't going to own the whole map. Um, and I wasn't going to farm the whole map. There was no need. It was only 200 horsepower. But I've had a couple of ideas, contrasting ideas, really. So... The first one is, is that we could own the whole map and farm it and we keep it religiously to the 200 horsepower challenge because there's some really steep hills out there um, and we would really struggle and it would be a real challenge. So we could do that, own the whole map, do the, you know, do the 200 horsepower so that all of our machinery has to be 200 horsepower that work on the fields. Um, or... <clears throat> We could say, do you know what? No one else now on YouTube is doing this. Uh, we've got quite a good little series going on. 
in a way because we you know I'm as I, as far as I can find I can't find anyone else doing it um, I can't find any recent videos uh, for within the last uh, four weeks so do we say that you know we've kind of if you like completed the challenge you know we've done it you know we've farmed all of this you know with 200 horsepower and so actually now what we'll do is is while we'll keep the tractors and the combine and everything at 200 horsepower we will allow ourselves to get a cotton harvester we will al allow ourselves to get sugarcane harvesters and we'll do sort of other crop you know like the other sort of two crops that i've never done before well as I've never done them year after year after year as in farm them properly. I've had a save where I've done, you know, I've planted some cotton and then harvested it just to see what it was like and just to use the machinery and, and done the same with sugar cane. Um, but I thought, you know, I sort of think, you know, because we're going to need a lot of sugar. Not only has the sugar got to feed the dairy, the sugar has also got to feed the bakery. Um, so, you know, we're going to need a lot of sugar. And from what I understand of sugarcane, we will be able to uh, plant it and get, is it two harvests off it or three harvests off it? Um, so that makes it a really worthwhile crop for, for us. Um, and so I was kind of thinking, you know, should, should we do that? Let me know in the comments. Do we farm the whole map and keep it religiously to the 200 horsepower challenge? Or do we say do you know what actually we've completed the challenge and we've done it you know sort of a bit longer than everyone else so what we're going to do is we'll now say yeah we can have the cotton harvester yeah we can have the sugarcane harvester and we'll do it and on the end of that do we then sort of say well we'll farm the whole map anyway but the tractors and the combine has to remain 200 horsepower but we are allowed the cotton harvester and the sugarcane harvester because both of them are going to come in obviously Oh, that's some nice stuff up for grabs. Uh, 205 horsepower, so we got to have that. Um, but yeah, so the cotton harvesters are going to be... So 415 for that one, and 590 for that one, and 550 for that one. So, um, you know, do we sort of go and say, yeah, we can have that? I mean, then you got the sugarcane harvester, which is 353. So, it's, you know, it's not far off 200, but it's not 200. Um, you know, so I don't know, you know, let me know in the, in, in the comments, your thoughts, um, about what we do. Cause I would do all of the sugar via sugar beet, but it's a little bit, uh, tedious to do the sugar beet with the way we have to do it. Um, it's a little bit, as I say, tedious doing it that way. You know, if we're going to kind of allow ourselves uh, a sugar cane harvester and a cotton harvester well i'm not being funny the sugar cane would probably give us all of the sugar that we would ever need in our lives anyway we could sell off the sugar beet equipment and just do it that way and it would give us like new equipment to buy and you know sort of different jobs to to do sort of thing like so you know it might be sort of you know worthwhile sort of thing you know this you know, this field really would be ideal for um, sugar cane. I do realise it's going to take a very long time to harvest, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm not naive on that, you know, that it is going to take uh, quite a while to harvest. But, um, you know, it's something that we could maybe think about and look at. Um, or do we just sort of kind of say, well, actually, no, we won't get a sugar cane harvester, we'll get a sugar beet harvester. Uh, and we'll do it that way. I need to level this floor out. Look at it. Look, it's terrible. And that's all because I had to alter the ground for... I think it was when I stretched this out here. And this happened. And I don't know why it shouldn't have happened. But it did happen. It happened the other side as well. Um, so I need to level all that out again. But yeah. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'm going to leave the episode here. As I say, because uh, I'm a little annoyed that I forgot to turn the uh, microphone back on and it is getting dark now. Um, so, and everyone seems to have finished their jobs. Uh, the combine seems to have finished the soybeans and the tractor over there has finished plowing that field. So the plow is going to go into the field that we've just mulched. I'm going to go into the soybean field with the baler and, and bale that. And then I'm either going to sell the bales because the bale shed's now full. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep stacking them down there and we'll just take those bales as and when we need them. We'll do, we'll do the straw as well, maybe in the next episode. 
and get rid of the straw. We need to also empty the manure out of here uh, and then restraw this. So we're going to be using a few straw bales. I might just get one of those um, uh, one of those um, loading belts that has like the uh, you know the reach on it that will reach to the back of the shed uh, because I can't quite get that on this. Maybe I could get that in here actually because maybe if I lower it and then higher it again in there I might try that actually that might work just as well um, and we also need to think about soon putting some silage in here because the silage is very slowly going down so we need to think about that as well um, and yeah and I might even buy actually some more cows because I do need the milk production now to be you know pretty high uh, and as far as I know, this barn is, where's the trigger? This uh, cow barn, I'm sure, I'm sure it's into the thousands. I might be wrong on that. It might be another one that I'm using on another save, but pretty certain that's what it is. Where on earth is the trigger? Oh, I know where the trigger is. Is it this one or the next one? It's this one. Oh, so 500 and we've only got 60 so yeah I might uh, just buy myself some more cows I mean if we were to buy 60 of them so 99 grand I mean we can afford it and that would put us up to 120 so it would double our milk production uh, it would also double the amount of food that we need but it's not a problem for us to grow food at the moment so you know that doesn't bother me um, I really do need to sort this floor out um, yeah so uh, but yeah so if you haven't done already, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Also share the videos wherever you share them or wherever you want to share them because that really helps as well. And all that's left for me to say is thanks ever so much for joining me on this episode. I've really enjoyed having your company and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.